Hey y'all, what's going on? Welcome to another episode of Infinite Lock. It's your boy Eric. And today we have another Stacy reaction. We have their latest comeback with Teddy Bear. Um, yeah, Stacy, I think they're one of the more consistent groups um, in in the fourth gen. I think that they're just a group. They're gonna be steady. They're gonna continue to grow. They're gonna continue to grow their fan base. They're gonna continue. I think they're gonna have one of the best fan bases um, in K-pop when it's all said and done in that fourth gen. Uh, girls especially in that super competitive fourth gen girls feel just because I think that they've proven that they can do a bunch of different styles that are specific to them and a bunch of different sounds and some of the places that they go vocally and aesthetically is like very specific to them while keeping their entire umbrella of sounds intact um, all of the members are, are very likable um, Again, I've mentioned before, Seon is my bias um, in the group. Um, but, you know, that very Seon could, could very well be that as well. Yoon is so silly. I love Jay's voice. Um, I think Soomin is like the glue of the group. And Isa, I've seen her on other stages. She's an absolute star. I think that they have a ton of talent in the group. Um, and one of the things that I admire about them that I mention all the time is how they came out of the gate. Um, singing live as a rookie group you know a lot of earlier stuff I was saying of them they were going on radio shows and stuff like that and you can tell there were even mistakes and missteps with the vocals but I just applaud that and respect that that much more um, because it really shows that these girls are confident in their abilities and their company is confident in their abilities no disrespect to anybody who doesn't because these idols have to do what they're told or what, or what they're told not to do so a lot of groups and a lot of idols aren't allowed to you know sing live and different productions and different stuff like that and but i just i think that that was great marketing for them early on because they drew a lot of attention to them and they got a lot of respect early on for that especially coming from a smaller company so let's get into teddy bear before we get into the video make sure you all like comment subscribe turn your post notifications on got a lot of stuff coming your way and uh yeah stay c with teddy bear It's going down. See, even even the vocals already. So cool. Like, just the way, the pronunciation. The harmony in the background. Come on, bias. Okay. Hmm, the vocal. Ooh, I love Isa's outfit. Is it Isa or Issa? Oh, I like how they're pairing them off. I like this part a lot. Hold on, come on, Sion. JJ. <laughs> hey. love her voice so much that was did i like this switch up i like this switch up a lot Ooh. come on jay with vocals Ooh, I wish that part was longer. I didn't realize she was... And I didn't realize Sian... Like, she has this air of confidence about her. 
Um, and I didn't realize that she was a child actor. I was watching um, a K-drama, I cannot think of it, but she was the younger version of a, of a member, of a present-day member. Um, I've seen multiple K-dramas I feel like she's been in, or like previews and stuff like that. So that kind of explains that the air of confidence out of the gate, she's really like one of the more bright, super bright personalities. I mean, Stacey as a whole, uh, I really love their their silliness and how they get along with each other and how they express themselves. But I feel like Sion especially is one of the like bright, lovable personalities in the fourth gen. Okay. Oh, that transition. Their discography is, is very well done. Okay, vocal. <laughs> mm, they love that note for you. They love that note for her. Very nostalgic sounding song. That's a very prominent thing in fourth gen, especially on the girl side, the nostalgic sounding type of songs. <laughs> okay, the record scratch at the end. So that was Stacy with Teddy Bear. Um, First of all, well done. Um, I think that Stacy just, again, they're a group to me. They're, there's a category of groups to me. Um, for example, like an A Pink. They're going to make solid music. Um, now, I feel like Stacy is in the experimental aspect of the fourth gen. They do do a little, um, they do kind of sometimes go outside the comfort zone. I think Beautiful Monster was, was an example of that. ASAP was more of the. I don't want to say typical because that was a bop, but it was it was more like a typical bop. Um, even though it, it was it was a great song, I'm not taking anything away when I say that. But I mean like the sound wasn't like extremely like experimental or anything for that. I feel like Beautiful Monster they really stretched the boundaries of. I mean they even said it in the in the recording behind and all of that. Like they stretched their imaginations in that. Um, I feel like this is more closer to like the earlier stuff um but i still feel like stacy adds that twist on it to where it's so specific to them while still keeping that harmony of the k-pop fourth gen bop but with the hint of stacy like you know what i mean um they're able to add originality to something but still keeping it safe and i think that that's a recipe for success every time um when you can like happily um, mesh those two things together. Um, I, I really did like that. I think it's very catchy. I think it's a, uh, I don't want to say it's a grower because I think it was a good first listen, but I still think even though it was a first, a good first listen, it's something that'll grow every time you hear it. Um, it's very, I, I know I've been saying this a lot lately about a groups, but I feel like it's very prominent in K-pop, the Disney channel, nostalgic type of vibe musically. It's just, it's something about specific songs that really trigger that in my head. I feel like this is, wasn't a whole bunch, but really the chorus for sure. I love the uh, Sion and um, Jay's rap part. I love how they kind of dropped that beat out and added that, that, um, that line, that bass line, that beat line in there in the background. That was very, very catchy. I wish that was like an eight count longer or something, but um, 
I just love everything that Stacy does. I think that they're just a group that's here to stay. They're going to be consistent day in and day out. They're going to have, again, that consistent fan base because of their, you know, the way that they constructed the group, the way that they've grown, the way that they've, you know, again, the singing live at the beginning. I do feel like coming from smaller groups, sometimes you do build um, a closer camaraderie with your fan base because it's that much more important to do so not saying that bigger groups don't have good relationships with their fan base i'm not saying that at all but i'm just saying when you're in a smaller group you really have to take advantage of um your marketing opportunities and things of that nature um and i feel like they're doing a great job with it so far especially even like the behind the scenes process of you know the past releases and the hype building up to beautiful monster and stuff like that i really like what stacy has done um since their debut and i think they're just going to continue to get better so before you all go make sure you all like comment subscribe turn your post notifications on got a lot of stuff coming your way and uh yeah till next time